let's give ourselves a little bit of practice with percentages. So let's ask ourselves, what, what percent, percent of, I don't know, let's say what percent of 16 is four? And I encourage you to pause this video and to try it out yourself. So when you're saying what percent of 16 is four, percent is another way of saying what fraction of 16 is four. And we just need to write it as a percent, as per 100. So if you said what fraction of four is, or what fraction of 16 is four, you would say, well, look, this is the same thing as four sixteenths, which is the same thing as equal, uh, this is the same thing as one fourth. But this is saying what fraction four is of 16. You'd say, well, four is one fourth of 16. But this still doesn't answer our question. What percent, what percent? So in order to write this as a percent, we literally have to write it as something over 100. Percent literally means per cent. So the word cent, you know from cents and century. It relates to the number 100, so it's per 100. So you could say, well, this is going to be equal to question mark over 100, the part of 100. And there's a bunch of ways that you could think about this. You could say, well, look, if in the denominator to go from four to 100, I have to multiply by 25. In the numerator, to go from, I need to also multiply by 25 in order to have an equivalent fraction. So I'm also going to multiply by 25. So 1 fourth is the same thing as 25 over 100. And another way of saying 25 uh, over 100 is this is 25 per 100 or 25 per cent. So this is equal to 25 per cent. Now there's a couple of other ways you could have thought about it. You could have said, you could have said, well, 4 over 16, this is literally 4 divided by 16. Well, let me just do the division and convert to a decimal, which is very easily easy to convert to a percentage. So let's try to actually do this division right over here. So we're going to literally divide 4 by 16. Now 16 goes into 4 0 times. 0 times 16 is 0. You subtract and you get a 4. And we're not satisfied just having this remainder. We want to keep adding zeros to figure out what to, to get a decimal answer right over here. So let's put a decimal right over here. We're going into the tenths place. And let's throw some zeros right over here. The decimal, make sure we keep track of the fact that we are now in the tenths and then the hundredths and then the thousandths place if we have to go that far. But let's bring another zero down. 16 goes into 40, goes into 42 times. 2 times 16 is 32. You subtract, you get 8, and you could bring down another zero. And we have 16 goes into 80. Let's see, 16 goes into 80 five times. 5 times 16 is 80. You subtract, you have no remainder, and you're done. 4 sixteenths is the same thing as 0 0.25. Now, 0 0.25 is the same thing as 25 hundredths. Or, this is the same thing as 25 over 100, which is the same thing as 25%.